दिन और इसको अपनी प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ में अप्लाई करने की कोशिश कर रही ठीक है ना तो इस प्रोग्राम का हम स्टार्ट करते हैं इंशाल्लाह सबसे पहले मुनम मुनम आएंगे और मुनम जो है वो स्टार्ट करें इब्राहिम Give him the mic. Take the mic and all. Um, I'm happy to be here. 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 I'm happy to be
needed something to stand on, so he stepped on a stone. So when his feet were imprinted in the stone. Then they were preserved. But that my brain is a sign of Allah's Now we're going to read by Ibn Umar. The Prophet reached Makkah, circumambulated the Kaaba seven times, and then offered two Rakat prayer behind Makkah and Ibrahim. Then he went towards the Sahel. Allah has said, Verily, in Allah's Apostle, you have a good example. This means that the people who do the walk seven times offer two Rakat next to Makkah and Ibrahim and then go to Saba are a really good example to humans. Quran Ayah Make the place where Ibrahim stood a place for Salah. This means where Ibrahim's feet are, that's where he used to pray. So that's where we have to pray too. Short story. Ibrahim had Ibrahim had a, salam, had a conversation with Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Give Azan for Hajj, give Azan for Hajj where your feet are imprinted on. Ibrahim alayhi salam replied, How are the Muslims going to hear me? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Again saying, it is your job to give the azan, my job to make everybody hear it. So Ibrahim salam did, and whoever said the big with him can do hajj now. Of course, we were with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so if our soul said the big, we can do hajj. And that is about the honor of Ibrahim. Hold on, let me see your poster. This is the Maqam. I'm 12 years old and I'm in 5th
constructed up to 12 times. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam participated in one of the Qaba's reconstructions before he became a prophet. Current height of the Qaba is 39 feet and 6 inches. The total size of the Qaba would be about 627 square feet. Hadith both are the more than Yahya Hazir Tala and who relate to me from Malik Hazir Tala and that he had heard that Abdullah ibn Abbas Hazir Tala and who used to say that the area between the corner of the black stone and the door of the Qabr was called Anbuk Kazan.
our Lord, and make us submissive unto you and of our offspring, a nation submissive unto you, and show us our everlasting, all the ceremonies of pilgrimage, how to do well, and accept our repentance. Truly, you are the one who accepts repentance, the most merciful. Surah Bakrara, number 128. Lord to give up his son for Allah. 
wife Farah. In the 13th Farah, I tell you about Hazrat Ibrahim Salam and Hazrat Ismail Salam, and it tells about what they did. Test. Hazrat Ibrahim had a lot of tests. One of the tests was King Mahmoud put Hazrat Ibrahim in a fire, but Allah made it so the fire fell cold. Another test was that Allah was, um, Hazrat Ibrahim was going to provide his son. Dua's translate. Hazrat Ibrahim Islam said, I will be among those who have patience. Face me so I'm looking at the Ghana Kaaba. Blindfold your eyes so you so you won't have to look at me. Turn me so my face is to the ground. Don't feel pain to provide me. If Allah has told you to go if Allah has told you to go ahead and do it. Fun facts. Hazrat Ibrahim had two sons. Hazrat Ibrahim built the Gaba. Hazrat Ibrahim had two wives. His first wife's name was Hazrat Sara, and his second wife's name was Hazrat Bibi Hajra. Either or other was created by the history of Hazrat Ibrahim al Islam and Hazrat Ismail al Islam. Facts about Hazrat Ismail al Islam. Hazrat Ismail al Islam had one brother and no sisters. His brother's name was Hazrat Ishaq. We all know his dad named Hazrat Ibrahim al Islam. And his mom's name was Bibi Hatra. Thank you. I'm 12 years old and I went to Arab middle school. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sabiha and I'm 12. I go to Kaiser Middle School. Assalamu alaikum. Our topic is Hajj. Hajj is a big pillar of Islam. Hajj is taking place in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Hajj is the day before Eid al Adha. The reason we do Hajj is to remember Allah Ta'ala and to follow the steps of Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail. Hajj is very similar to Umar, but there are two differences. The differences are the Wafizat and Afa. The Wafizat is when you go around the Khan and Kaaba seven times. Afa is a ground. You stay on this ground for one whole day on the night of Zillah. These are the differences. Thank you. Um, there are lots of hadiths for Hajj. One hadith is that if you hush three times in your life, then you, the doors of Jannah are directly opened for you. Another hadith is that if you are healthy and wealthy and you do not hush, then Allah will be very mad and you will die as a Yahudi or a Muslimi. Another hadith is when you hush correctly, then all of your sins go away. These were some hadiths of hush. Put your hand on it. Put on whoever's talking. Put on it. Thank you for listening and remember to hudge. Do that, I love. I'm 12 years old and I go to Kaiser Middle School. As-salamu alaykum. My name is Maham. I'm 9 years old and I go. I went the fourth grade and I'm going to Central Elementary School. As you all know, Bakr Eid has passed and was a very important day in Islam. It all started with Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Ismail, peace be upon them. So now we honor their faith and bravery to sacrifice themselves for Allah Ta'ala on Bakr Eid. Queen is also important that this has the faith. So take a shower and put on your best clothes. You should also smell good, so put on perfume or ether. There is a special namaz for Eid. Eid al Adha and Eid al Fitr's namaz is the same. When men, do not, men and women have to read Eid's namaz, women do not have to because it is not logic for them or unnecessary. Men do because it is logic for them or necessary. To bind the niyat for namaz, we say, Dora kar wajib, Eid al Adha, Zahid, Shatakbir. 
the athlete from Bethlehem eats an homage and eats sweets. You can also start the Kulvani, or you can do it on any of the other two days. But you get more rewards for doing it on the first day, then less reward for doing it on the second, and least reward for doing it on the final day. It is very important how and what you cut on buckery. You always cut it full length and will exclude it for. You must say you spin up before cutting the animals. For first you cut the lungs of the animal, stop breathing. When it's finally dead, you cut the animal up. You split your body in three parts. One for yourself, one for the boy, and one for your relatives. Allah Ta'ala only asks you to give up two days a year for him. One for Eid al-Fitr and the other for Eid al-Adha or Bakr Eid. So please remember these few simple things when celebrating Bakr Eid. Thank you. May you create my study in Southwest Middle School. Um, Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ala muhammad wa ala 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 there is no Muslim of true faith who does not feel himself called at times by overwhelming desire to visit the city of Allah Ta'ala's Messenger. There is no Muslim whose love for Allah does not fill up his heart and influence his blood, his flesh, his bones. And the love of, of Muslims of al Medina is not surprising since the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, O oh Allah, make al Medina beloved to us. al Medina is still the most beautiful city for Muslims, and not just for Muslims, but for Christians and Jews and Hindus and any other religion. It is the second holiest place for Islam after Mecca. Its main attraction is that it's the burial place of our beloved and gracious Prophet, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Before Farmina was called Medina, it was called Yemen and then Yathrib, and then it was changed to Medina. It, the word Medina originally comes from the, from the book Dora, meaning, and it was the word, the original word was Medina, meaning city. Prophet, peace be upon him, was forced to leave Medina. Mecca. He had said, if the people had not forced me out of this city, I shall not have left. When peace be upon it had come to Medina, people were happy, rejoiced, and people had a small feud of where the Prophet would stay. And the Prophet said, wherever my camel Kiswa would stay, that's where I would stay. His camel Kiswa had stayed at Abu Ayyub Ansar's house, and that's where he lived. Masjid al Nabwi is a place where Prophet Sallallahu is buried. Next to him lies Abu Bakr anhu, and Umar anhu. And there is a burial place left for Jesus Sallallahu And when he dies, he'll live there. He'll be buried there. Masjid al Nabwi and Medina is all covered in tiles, and it's the whole city is covered with um, glorious lights and buildings. Masjid al Nabwi should be entered respectfully. Praying in the Masjid al Nabwi is always multiplied as reading as you into your home. After people do Hajj, they read four reading prayers. Prophet said, If you have the ability to come to me and you have not, it is putting Zulm on me. It is. It is Medina is like Medina like Mecca is strictly forbidden of for non-Muslim. Even the even the man with the kafir written on his head is not able to come. Mashida, Mashida is no is a place like no other. We should try to follow the paths of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah give us the to do so. I mean. Wait, 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 wait.